So we've got a little bit of a kitchen remodel going on here. Actually a lot going on here, I'm not gonna lie. And one of those things is this range hood right here. So I put this thing in and then I framed this up and bent this drywall around it to give it this bell shape. It was just real quick, I already had this drywall and lumber on hand and I was actually surprised how quick I did this. It was a picture that my wife found on the internet. So I'm gonna have to start restricting her phone from like seeing like remodel stuff because it's getting in, me into a lot of trouble. But anyways, we're gonna, this is gonna look cool. We're gonna trim it out. We're gonna put some uh, outside corner molding right here to hide that seam. Um, we're gonna have a backsplash that goes all up the side of this and then another piece of trim back there. And then we're gonna have open shelving on the sides. It's actually gonna be pretty cool. But the thing we're gonna talk about today is the crown molding because I'm gonna go ahead and get this on because I'm gonna have that backsplash come up and then I'm gonna cope into that crown. You'll see it as, as the, this plays out. But this range hood right here, uh, as many of you probably know, there's two types of range hoods that you can install. There's the ducted kind where the airflow is actually built into the house and it exits the house. And there's the recirculating kind. The recirculating kind is the kind that I have here, which means that the air stays in the same room and it vents out the top. So all that air from the cook surface down there is gonna come up through a duct until here, until the ceiling, and then it's gonna push out. So I drilled this hole right here in the side of this drywall and framing so that air can escape. But the only problem is we're gonna be wrapping crown around this. So we gotta cut some kind of slot in the crown. I have an idea of how I'm gonna do it. I think it's gonna work. But to give you an idea of how this works, I'll turn this on and then I'll hold this rag up there. And you can see the, uh, you know, this rag is blowing around. So we've got a lot of uh, airflow through there. And I have one on this side and one on the other side. So what we're gonna have to do here is cut some slots in the crown molding. And I don't wanna just make these like kerf cuts from like the miter saw or the table saw. I want them to actually be made on the router and actually look like they belong there. So I have a pretty cool idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna be using the Milwaukee Compact Router because it has a little fence mechanism that you can attach to it. And I'm gonna see if I can make that work. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is cut up our pieces. I already have a little cut list for that wraparound and then we'll figure out how we're gonna route these. So we have all of our pieces cut here for wrapping around that range hood cover. So that would be these three right here. And I'm only gonna slot the two side pieces where the hole was, where that exhaust air was coming out. So what I need to consider though on this hole placement or slot placement, I guess, is where is that coped crown gonna come in? So I have a coped crown right here and I can hold this in place and then I can draw a line with my pencil so I know that whenever I slot this, just to give it a finished look, I know that I can't have those slots past that pencil line because that's where that next piece of crown will cope into it. So, and this is somewhere where I definitely wanna cope it because if I was to miter that, that means that all that um, exhaust air would actually have a pathway to go and turn behind that miter and I don't want that I want to direct it out of that whole area now that we know this we can figure out where we're gonna make the slot so I'm thinking probably three slots maybe like one here um, that's getting kind of close to the edge there probably one here and then maybe like one here. So this is just me kind of thinking out loud, but I want the two slots on the outer side to be a little bit shorter than the middle one, just to kind of give it some design aspect. And it looks better than just three, you know, uh, slots that are all the exact same length. So I'm gonna mess around with this for a minute and probably practice on a piece of scrap and see what I come up with. So I think I've got the layout figured out for these slots. At least this is a piece of scrap. And what I've done is I've retraced that cope line right there. And then I just roughly made a straight line right here. But I'm gonna actually take the square and square that up. 
So what I'm thinking is those slots should not pass here and into there, obviously. So if I put, let's say, one slot here and then one slot here and then the next slot would be like here. I think that'll look pretty good. I'll actually have to make all these marks on the back of this molding. So to transfer this, I'm just gonna pull that line up right there. And then I'll find it on this side. And then I'll make that mark there. And the next mark is actually just gonna be to the tip of this outside corner. So I'm thinking if I pull this in one inch here and one inch here, that can be the furthest extent of that middle slot. So I'll go ahead and make that square and make that square. And then I'll make the others a half inch in. So here and here. So those should be about there, there, and then this one put here and here. So I know that looks kind of confusing, but I think once I get my straight bit on it, you guys will see this actually, you know, turn into a really pretty cool custom piece to allow that air to vent. So the bit that I'm using is just a straight bit. It's like a mortising bit and that's gonna allow me to dig into there. There's no bearing on this and then just cut across. And to make it where it's straight, I'm just gonna use the little compact Milwaukee. And then this has a, a guide on it and you just install it on here. It has a little knob, tighten it up. And then I can set the adjustment, uh, the fence depth using this right here. So this is gonna take some finessing to get this exactly where I want it and to get it to repeat on both pieces, but I think it'll be worth it for the end result and we kind of have to do it because we have to wrap that, that range and we gotta exhaust that air. So I'm just gonna true this up to the bottom as close as it'll go and I'm gonna see where that lands. All right, so just so I don't cut through the aluminum on this cut hub, we're gonna get this little workbench. So this is gonna be tricky because crown molding obviously is, you know, like a cove shape, this cove crown. And I'm gonna have to be cutting in the back of it where it's flat. You can see this is all flat right here. That's where the cuts are gonna have to be made. So this is the piece of scrap. I'm just gonna see what I can come up with and if that depth adjustment for the guide is proper. So we'll see. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's actually about where I was thinking with my mind. It went right on that line. So if that's good on this side, this crown is symmetrical. It'll probably be good on this side. I'm gonna spin it around and just test it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good right there. And then what I can do is just, I'll cut these two outer ones first and then I'll find the middle of that. I'll adjust this fence to be right in the middle of that and then I'll just slot that. And I think we got it right there. So I'm gonna do it on the actual pieces now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna transfer those lines over and before I make the, before I adjust this fence on here, I'm gonna cut them on the other pieces first. So we got the layout of this on our next piece, and I'll go ahead and make those slots. Put our longer one right here in the middle. Now this is gonna be 
little bit tricky because, well, I'm gonna do it on this scrap first too. I need to make sure that these are, this one is like right in the middle or it's gonna kind of make me have to remake these pieces and I definitely don't wanna do that. So let me figure out where this fence needs to be and then we'll cut inside this one. Inch and five eighths, inch and five eighths. So this line right here should be dead center of those two lines. Now the tricky part is gonna get the fence to line up there and hold it on this awkward crown. I guess I could just set it there. All right, I'll try a little section of that. And if it works, I'll do the whole thing on the sample piece. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think that's it. Three quarters minus. Yeah, I think, I think we got it. Which way did I cut it from? Was it this way? Yeah. So, I'll finish the way on this sample. Okay, I, I think we got it. So I'm gonna try it on the real deal now. If I have to remake it, I'll remake it, but that's the only way we're gonna get it done, give it a shot. So make sure this is tightened and we'll give it a shot. That's a pretty cool looking vent right there. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll get our other piece going and hopefully I don't mess this one up. Some pretty cool looking vents. If you gotta have vents in your crown molding, make them look cool. So I think that's gonna work all that air they're just gonna be pushed out of there. It's not gonna have anywhere else to go really. And yeah, I think, I think this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go dry fit this, make sure this fits good, and then we should be good to go. Now, some of you are probably wondering, why don't you put one on the front? Uh, I just, it just might be a little bit overkill. I don't wanna to draw too much attention to these vents, but I do want there to be some kind of exhaust for it to get out. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go dry fit this. All right, so everything checked out good. I'm gonna go ahead and glue up. I'm gonna be using CA glue, obviously. Best thing you can use for MDF. And a lot of times pine, use it a ton. But you already knew that. So we'll get our glue. All right, cool. So we have our crown wraparound with our vent slots cut. I think they look pretty stylish. I like them a lot. So when that, that um, air comes out, we have this dying straight into the wall. So when that air is coming up, it's not gonna be able to twist and turn that corner like I was talking about because it's gonna be coped into itself. The only place that air can go is in a circle. It'll eventually get out of one of these vents it, I mean, it could really go in the front, but if it goes in the front, then it's just gonna turn the corner and go out this one and vice versa. But I think the way that we have those holes drilled, it's just gonna shove it out here anyways. But 
uh, yeah, I think it's really gonna work. And again, I think it looks pretty slick. So we'll go ahead and go install this thing and that'll be a wrap on this. And one more thing to check off my list for this kitchen remodel. So let's go check it out. All right, so one last look at the inside of this thing. You can see our, our layout marks there and we're gonna see if thing fits in place, which it should I already dry fit it, but. Yeah, that'll work right there. And then you can see, man, that, I never thought Vince looked cool until now. And I'm not talking about Vince from VCG. He's always looked cool, but these look really cool. So check it out. And then that cope will come and that kind of, you know, makes the portions better because without this coped in piece, you know, it looks like it's kind of too far to the right. So that is going to be legit right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this thing right now. This one definitely gets the whistle of approval. If you can make a little slotted vent look cool, I think we pulled it off. So this is gonna come together real nicely. There's a really cool inspiration picture that we found for what we're going for with this thing. And like I said, we're gonna have a corner molding here. We're gonna have other pieces of trim on this thing. And it's just really gonna be a nice centerpiece for this kitchen. But I think the real moment of truth is to turn this thing on and feel how much air comes out. So I'm gonna kick it on real quick. Oh yeah, we got nice airflow right here. And like I mentioned at the saw, if it does push this way, it's just gonna find its way to the other side and vent out that way. And if you didn't know, those little compact routers, I know the Milwaukee for sure, obviously, because we just use it, it has that little attachable fence. I've used that thing so many times, I even used it to make dado slots. And it's just a really cool feature to have. So it's just, if you put your mind to it, with the tools that you have, you can really just get some custom things done. So we're gonna end it here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video.